Welcome to Data Association. I hope you are doing very well. In this video, we are going to look at how to use DataWix Secret Utility and to get the secret value from DataWix Secret Scope and Azure Key Vault in addition, how to read file from storage account Gen2. So before going forward, I request to you to please subscribe to the channel and like this video if you find this video helpful. Now let's get started and create new notebook for this demo. I am going to here workspace. I use for this course DataWix course and let's click here to create new notebook for DataWix. Let's name it DV Utils Secrets Scope. Let's start with help method on secret utility to see the method available for us. So DV Utils dot secret dot helps Con shift enter to execute you can see here automatic compute resource connected to this network and we use here python language by default and my cluster is up and running you can see here okay so these four method available for us mainly gets gets wide list and list scope okay let's use list scope to see all secret scope available within data weeks so dv utils dot secrets dot list scope select this and tab to complete this code and control enter you can see here secret scope available data week secret scope and one also formula one secret scope okay now in order to see the secret available in a specific secret scope in our case this one data weeks scope we can use here list method we can use here this method to see secret available so use here dv utils dot secret dot list and pass this it's offered here parameter scope so this is my scope okay and you can write here a scope equal to and shift enter as you can see it's list the name of all secret that we created okay so we created here a storage key vault this is secret if you go to here we create here this is my key vault and go to here secret and you can see here a storage key vault we created here secret and it's list all secret available in this key vault okay a storage account key vault okay we already created this key vault in previous video you can watch from playlist so last thing we want to do is to get the value of the secret which store a storage account pay we want to get the value so to get the value we can use here get method so use here dv utils dot secrets dot gets and it's required here two parameter scope and key so first use here scope equal to what is my scope this is key and this is a scope so use here here we use here scope and then comma then key this is key so type here key control enter to execute you can see here it's bringing back as to value but it's redundant so it's the so that it not explore hard-coded value which use for a storage account this is my storage account and we use this storage account and we use key security and key this value bringing back but this is hard-coded okay to not explore in internet now 
let's keep this value into variable let's use same code and use here storage storage account key this is my variable i want to put this in variable okay so let's use a spark configuration now you can see here this spark configuration i will put this link in description box research this and you can see here page and for account key we use here this spark configuration so let's copy this and go to database and here we required fs azure account key and we required here storage account so here is the my storage account name put this in here and here required dbut secret dot get value we already stored into variable so use here let's delete this and again write go to here copy this go to cell new cell and we require here a storage account this is my storage account copy this and put this into here and we require here key so copy this here and paste here okay shift enter now it's execute successfully now we should able to access the storage account now so let's try the dbut dot fs dot ls statement here to list the file dv utils dot fs dot ls to list the file from go to here this is my copy this here and paste into here we require here this path dot net container name let's use here go to container i'm using here demo container so use here demo at the rate storage account name this is my storage account name dws for dl for gen 2 so i am using here at the demo at the rate the storage account name dot dfs dot code dot window dot net now control it should be in comma yes, strange now execute you can see here this file available let's use here display command to list in tabular format shift enter you can see all these file available in this demo file you can also check here go to it storage account all these file you can see in database let's use this country file to read delete this let's comment this and use here a spark dot read dot csv and pass this path okay from copy from here and passing here okay control shift enter you can see here data frame let's use here display command again shift enter you can see we able to read file from storage accounts so that's all about in this video if you find this video helpful please subscribe the channel and like this video i will see you in next video thank you